just can't do anything because he's just boxing you out, keeping you on the ledge, not letting you back. Lucina, Mei Mei was able to explode out a lot more and have a much, you know, a much better go of it. Have to see how he opens up with Light here. So far, Light opening up with the first 40% uh, off of one neutral air. Again, the explosiveness of this character cannot be underestimated. You talked about like the methodical style of Utopian Ray, but he yeah. can still open you up from time to time, and I think Light is going to go for a couple of those more aggressive options. Of course. But right now, this ledge trap starting here for Lucina. She's one of the better ledge trappers in the game. Oh, yeah. Get. And she can just use that disjoint in space brilliantly here to keep you in the corner. Yeah. You can see Light going for the big stuff on that forward smash, but not connecting. Of course, it's all data. You can throw out something like that, see how your opponent responds, and then say, okay, well, later I know you're going to jump from ledge. Good edge guard there from Mei Mei, though, going way off with that forward air. Getting the KO at 108 pretty early, honestly. Even against a character that isn't particularly heavy, that's still pretty oh, no. soon. Uh, weird auto reticle from Light. Very did unfortunate. He, did he free fall or did he like buffer something afterwards? I think he just didn't jump. I, I don't know if he uh, didn't have it fast enough. I'm not sure. That's unfortunate. But be before that unfortunate SD, and okay, that's. that's ta oh my goodness! Not again. You blinked and you missed it, but wow, what a spike. He stage spiked him with the forward air on the way back, and then as soon as you tried to just re-grab the ledge, there was a dare in your face. And yeah. You, literally, you blink and you miss it. The edge guarding from Mei Mei is incredible, whether it's Yoshi or Lucina. Just watch this kid off stage. Insane stuff. Yeah, Mei Mei just bursting out early on today, and you know Light's got to be kicking himself for that SD, just giving away a stock essentially for free. Mm. Have to hope he can get it together. It is early in the morning for these guys. Well, not particularly. I guess it's 12. But these guys may not have been warmed up. Might be just a little bit of the jitters. Deciding what type of battlefield he wants to choose. Somebody better tell him not to go to Magic Camp. Because that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> found out the other night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, uh, the Mario Galaxy stages are still kind of... Uh, an issue, but wait, you know, really? Galaxy? They they were in four. Really? I don't know if they still are. Wow! I did not know that. You can go to any other Mario stage. That's crazy. I would think it'd be Odyssey, but not but like Galaxy. That's weird. Haven't right. tested Odyssey. I'm sure that's probably also an issue. I was gonna say yeah. Well, there's vocals in that. You know, it's like mm. so. Here we go, Mei Mei against Pol uh, against Light playing Palutena. Keep in mind, this is loser's round one, so loser this will get 33rd. These guys playing their hearts out, both of them coming from international spaces, so they do not want to do poorly at this huge event. A, a credit to Light, though. I think I think he made the perfect battlefield choice. He got this beautiful river in the background. He picked the, picked the correct song. Yeah, definitely. Sticker Brush Symphony, one of the classics from For All Days. You know, I, this song's overrated. I'm just going to say, oh my god, that you know, it's not overrated. Perfectly rated. I was going to say, he tried it last game. You remember, mm. early on, he tried charging the forward smash. Mei, Mei didn't give it to him, but here, Light finding his mark. Love that forward smash there. Definitely coming into this game much stronger. And you, you needed that explosive opening to answer back from Mei because, again, yeah. he can just take momentum and run with it and look for another spike here, just barely missing the hitbox and going for it again. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah, Mei Mei, one of the more proficient Lucinas I've seen. Pretty much all weekend at going off stage or getting this edge guard, and you saw him call out Light, trying to teleport back to the stage, getting the back air, getting that KO. That was a brilliant call out. Just brilliant. Beautiful. You yeah. could have gone any direction, but I know exactly what you're <laughs> You've so many options for that teleport recovery, but nah. And another edge guard opportunity. Yep, gonna go for another spike with the high option from Light. But it's such a good option to Light, because it's mm. like, all right, I'm gonna cover this with a spike. If you go to the ledge, I'm going to get you. But if you don't, I can still cover both. Mei Mei just excellent fundamentals here. Getting that spike. Mei Mei just playing at a level Light is not ready for. Light taking a swim in that waterfall <laughs> real quick, I'm telling you. And these high recoveries on the other part from Mei Mei. He's, he's mixing up the, 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 uh, the sorry the Dolphin Slash. Yes. Just at brilliant angles that are, you know, they could be punished by someone who just waits. But knowing that someone's going to try to cover like an explosive option to answer yours. Yeah. You can be a little conservative with that, but all right, the back air spaced excellently on the side. That's going to even this up. Exactly what he needed. As is this, we've got the Nairs coming out. Get the drag down up air, but Mei Mei able to footstool and get out of that combo. He should be thanking his lucky stars. He got away with that. And he also got away with up being just out of nowhere and not getting punished. 
it's just such a quick option to use as like a combo breaker tool. And on Battlefield, you can mix up whether you're going to land yes. on the platform safely. It's easier to mix up even with a top platform. If you do yeah. it in the center spot, you might see it here. Oh no, instead of shield break, because of course Mamie is going to go for a crazy option. And the forward smash almost gets him. Again, an early teleport by Light trying to get behind Meme. Meme has it covered. And he's turning around with these shield breakers. Yeah. What is this man is insane. Yes. He just he's like this button would be hilarious if it works. And it's, I know it's gonna work. It's definitely like I'm saying this because you're here. It's definitely a Yoshi player Lucina. You can <laughs> definitely tell that. This is not a normal Lucina. This is just Maybe that's why I enjoy it so much. That might be it. Yeah, you guys are just resonating on a different... Right. Ah! Oh, no! You spooked, him. you spooked him. Tragic. Yeah, he just got a little scared, trying to up be a little early. And I love that option coverage. Well, Light finally Light. waited. Yes, yes. He finally waited. And it was an SD, but if he drifted to the right in order to actually be there to grab the ledge, you get forward smash. Exactly, so yeah. The wait is the answer. That's a good adaptation from Light. Now it is an even set. Yeah, it was super good because he could have gone for like an up smash, down smash. I think a lot of players in that position would have sort of panicked, maybe in like a forward tilt or something. Mm. But Light said, no, this is the exact option I need right now with the win box combined with the hit box. If he drifts in, I'm going to be able to get this KO either way. And he was at 150, so, you know, w even with his nerves on last stock, all that stuff, he was able to pull that out. Good stuff to Light <clears throat> bringing this to game three. Also, choosing the forward smash shows that he's just adept with the character, right? Oh, because yeah, sure. A lot of the, the newer Palutena players are just like, they hear about like the frame data on your smash attack, and they're like, okay, I'll never press that button. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll, I'll just back air and dash attack, because those those are the fun ones, and they're invulnerable. And then neutral air is, of course, real, you can write a book about neutral air. Yep. And they go to tilt stick real no, quick. Knowing, <laughs> knowing the right timing to get that forward smash out, considering how slow it is. Yep. Just shows that he, he knows the character front and back. Here we go, next game. Looks like we're going to Smashville on this next one. Staying with Lucina, no Yoshi. I think that's the wise choice. Lucina versus Palutena, game three, 1-1 one, one right now. Meimei probably kicking himself for letting that one go. But we'll have to see if he can come out with more of that offstage play we've been seeing all weekend. I think that's the only way he knows how to play. I think if you told him to camp, he'd be like, what's that? Yeah, exactly. Like, Yoshi can throw eggs? <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just throwing my face at you, bro. I'm trying to get this <laughs> forward air. Oh, I think he jumped. Yeah, yeah, he jumped. He tried to get the forward smash again, but not quite what he needed. But a very fortunate fast fall timing to mix up with the forward. Again, that forward smash is so hard to use from Palutena. The fast fall made it easier to get to the ledge, and now going off stage once more with a great forward air to the left side, cleaning yeah. up a Palutena stock. Good jab there. Tries to go for two, but it does not land. I mean, landing with the down air, an aggressive option despite being a disadvantage. This dude is nuts. That move got a good buff in this game, too. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be so laggy. It used to have one active frame of spike hitbox. Wait, really? Yeah, in Smash 4. Oh, my gosh. Literally just the one frame where the sword is right under her feet is the active spike. I did it's not like, know that. No, you're never going to Ken Combo again. I'm sorry. But in this game, like, the move is, is back on the radar, and you see it here from uh, this Yoshi turned Lucina. Yeah. Of course you're going to want to dare. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. I think, I really think that's why he's choosing these aggressive options, if I'm being honest, because, like, that's sort of a Yoshi mindset. It's like, why would I air dodge? I'm going to land with a button, because the buttons are good. And I feel like Meimei playing with the buttons well, getting that forward air 137 still has not lost his first stock. I think he's definitely corrected what lost in the last game. He's got a full stock lead now. Uh, there's the answer back from Light. He's going to take out a stock. And it's the start of something here, potentially. And I'm getting a good punish on these Dolphin Slashes. Oh, but you missed the forward air. But you're st still able to get a grab. Yes. Damage is damage. But that turn around with the dare. I love it. Yeah, I love the usage of dare here. Because he's doing it in a way that I feel like if you're even well-versed in the Lucina matchup, you probably have never seen that. You know, you, mm. you don't see Lucina's landing with that all the time. So really catching I, him off guard. I know we're harping on this a lot, but... Dare spike into forward smash with Lucina is a Yoshi Lucina yes. combo. Yep, yep, yep. Spike into smash attack or spike into up air is just bread and butter for that character. And you exactly. see that here brilliantly, but of course, Light saying, I can go off stage too. Here's uh, the twinkle toes, then you flying. Oh, wow. Lands right in front of Meimei. Bold choice, especially at 109. But he's able to make it. Meimei just needs one more forward smash to be able to close this out, but it is a pretty big commitment. Like getting the nair, but doesn't get any follow up hits. 
Oh, and he had the air dodge in his sights, but just not able to drift to the left enough to get any kind of hit in edgewise. But holding center stage now is Mei Mei, but he'll go, you know he'll go for it. Yes. He's, he's just posturing right now. Yeah, I think he's playing a little bit more conservatively, though. Yeah, what he's trying to do is go off stage and force it. He's trying to force the teleport. He's trying to force him to go to ledge so he can punish. And it looked like Light used his jump, and he said, all right, what are you going to do? You going to forward air me? No, we're going to trade. Perfect forward air from Mei Mei. Going to take that game. So now we're up 2-1. Have to see if Light has an answer on this. Could be back to Battlefield. Um, I do know... Oh, there is no DSR, no stage yeah. clause in right. this rule set. That is an important uh, little wrinkle there. So even though Light won on that stage, he could go back to it as long as Maymay doesn't use one of his bands on it. Yes. Although I see the Omega chosen. And are we going to get in the Nintendo jail here? I see him over on it. I don't know. I do love that people are doing this now. Because I don't know about you, but like, people don't use this. They still go to regular FD, regular Battlefield. When I'm playing friendlies, I just do Battlefield uh, Just form. random? Yeah, Battlefield form all random. Yeah. That's my favorite stage in the game. Me so. too. Same. Oh, Sheik. Okay. Let's get it. Interesting. All right. Very interesting. Are you on Team Sheik? I'm you on think Team... this character's real? I'm on Team... Uh, ah. We have a local Sheik. Uh, his name's Big Mac. Has he with him. He does... Uh, <laughs> he was, he was okay. like, you know, top five in Chicago for a while, but his, his character... Got a little gutted, and he's in he's in crisis mode. Yes, I, I feel that. I feel like she is. Um, I don't know. I it's weird because I don't want to compare it to like Ryu, but I do feel like this character is something of a time bomb. I think if you give her six months, the Sheik players are gonna figure something out. Yeah. But will there be any Sheik players left? That's sort of my question. I might be being a little optimistic. We'll have to see. I, I think the character's just going to end up having some really awesome matchups and some just really, really bad. Ones. I got you. Yeah. But if you're looking to, to match the edge guard play of Meme, you could go with the Sheik and get get some hits in if you get any one of those early Dalton slashes off the side and just get a back air on her without a jump. Nowhere to go. So I, I at least understand Ooh. the plan and using that speed to get in with the up smash. And I was just about to say, if Meme keeps throwing out these wild... Uh, Dolphin slashes, I feel like Light could get under that, hit the up smash sweet spot, and get an early stock. He didn't even need it, just jumps under the full hop, and Light definitely showing some stuff here. But you, you can already see just the reach of Sheik is a little bit the shadow of its former self. You see these forward airs just trying to close the gap on the Lucina, but she still has that giant blade. Yeah. Gonna put on great pressure and catch a roll with the back air, and fading down low. Okay, we're sneaking back. You know what's funny is I feel like he's actually recovering better on Sheik. I don't even know if I would say that Sheik has a better recovery than Palutena, but I feel like he's more comfortable with this. Mm -hmm. If I'm being honest, I, I, it, maybe it's just, you know, comfortability, but something's up. See these guys just running up holding shield. A little bit of Smash 4. <laughs> a little bit of Smash 4. I like that. Yeah. But that forward smash is a move that got to glow up a little bit. Yes, like. yeah, forward yeah, yeah. Smash, you can cross up with it in a, in a game where cross ups are no longer as free as they were when you could run through a shield. Yes, and so it has its uses. But all right, maybe on the board here, slapping them away with that back air. But a lot of damage already done by the Sheik. And retreating back to the ledge, you have to respect the pressure in the corner that she can put on. She can still ledge trap with the best of them. Yes, it's just it takes many more, many more cuts, many more death of. She was always a death of a thousand cuts character, but it takes just many, many more. Like I, ten thousand. Ten thousand. I was gonna say now it's ten thousand. It's, it's, it's tragic sometimes when you see the damage output, because like you've got characters that have damage output like Pichu doing basically the same amount of hits. Oh, I like that. Bold coming out with the nair, coming out of that shield, not letting Mei Mei oppress him. But that. Neutral are going to force the issue, and now suddenly Lucina turns it around. Uh, she used to be a pretty good Rage monster back when Rage was, was a real yes. mechanic. Now it's it's less of a mechanic, but still, uh, Sheik's really light. Yeah. Lucina has a giant forward smash stick. If she gets him at the edge, like if Meme hits uh, Light at the edge of the stage, that would be something. Excellent tech by Light. Just the reaction time is perfect, but he's able to survive that back air, gets a forward air. He's got to figure this out, though, and get this stock soon, because like you said, the rage is sort of understated in this game, but it does exist. And right here, might be at actually up throw kill percent on Sheik, because she's, again, super, super really? light. Yeah. 
you can get three pummels in, and then it might just be it. So you, you have to play around grabs. Pummels. You're right. You have to play around every single one of these hits that neutral are even so close. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. But, I but, accept. But I didn't even think about the pummel. You're right. Sort of racking it up a little bit more. And Meimei still getting the stock off first. Tried to go for the forward smash, but Meimei again landing with the aggressive option. The aggressive option right back is the answer here for Light as that forward smash is fine. Mark catching, I think, a, just an empty hop or something. Yeah. Just trying to space a little bit or be mind game a little bit, but Light said, no, I'm not going to be mind game right now. Yeah. But look at that. Three forward airs, 50% already. Woo! Oh, good roll through. Yeah, this should be a pretty good punish, but that was not what he wanted, throwing out the grenade. A little bit of nerves from Light on potentially his tournament stock here. That was definitely a bouncing fish. Yes. Me meant to be a bouncing no fish. No question. And Meimei's back to the shield breakers. He really wants to catch Light scared. And Light just not giving it to him. Dare Ooh. in the back air. Perfect stuff from Meimei. Light reeling right now. He's got to burst his way out of the corner. But with Sheik, this, this feels insurmountable. All right, just going for all the pummels you can. Because again, with, with the data we know, now Sheik is in that up throw kill percent. Yes. Yeah, no question. Oh, wow! Down wow. low! Incredible! That amazing fastball getting the up air and Meimei gonna take it. I thought that the bouncing fish hit, so I was like freaking out. I was like, that's